Last season on Wild Bills. <laughs> a sail fishing series of epic proportion. Holy Despite a near tragic start. Dead in the water, just like that. Team Vitamin C2's indomitable spirit keeps them on the board and in the game. Oh, a shark! While stolen victories. God. And boat changes plague Team 4 aces, but do not take the wind out of their sails. And with the title and the jacket theirs for the taking. This is the final leg of the series, and I want that jacket desperately. Team Liquid comes up just short. Now, it's time for a Wild Bills rematch in the Quest for the Crest Sailfish Series. For five months of intense competition. Everybody wants to take the top prize. They get recognized as winning the biggest event. Yes, Through four hard-fought, high-stakes tournaments. We're gonna work hard at it and do whatever it takes to get the bites. The world's best sail fishing teams put it all on the line once again in their quest to get tight with the fastest fish in the sea, the iconic, acrobatic Atlantic sailfish. Every time I see one come up on a kite bait, it just, ah, you know, I can't help it, I love it. At stake, a multi-million dollar purse, the coveted burgundy jacket. We will be putting on that jacket at the end of the season. Oh, and title of number one sail fishing team in the world. Only one team will reign victorious in the prestigious Quest for the Crest Sailfish Series. The rematch of Team's Liquid, Four Aces, and Vitamin C2, Wild Bills. Wild Bills, presented by Bass Pro Shops. It's winter in South Florida, and that brings sunny skies, tanning tourists, and one of the ocean's most colorful and captivating species, the Atlantic sailfish. Every time I see one come up on a kite bait, it's just like the first time you went on a carnival ride, or, you know, it's, it's I, every time I see one, it's, ah, you know, I can't help it, I love it. The adrenaline, the, the, the team. This time of year, cold fronts send bait fish south in search of warmer temps with large numbers of ravenous sailfish right on their tails. And not far behind the feeding sails comes an elite group of tournament fishing teams chasing the green and the glory in the world's richest sailfish series, the Quest for the Crest. The Quest for the Crest is the best and top series for sailfish in, in the, I, I'd say the world, not the country, the world. The quest for the crest follows the Atlantic sailfish migration south in a series of four tournaments, starting in December with Operation Sailfish in West Palm Beach, then to Miami in January for the Sailfish 400. In February, it's the Three Inlet Sailfish Challenge, then all the way down to Key West in April for final sail. It actually covers all of South Florida, Palm Beach, Nate County, then Monroe County, and Broward County. I was in a tournament last week, we had 15 boats. This one's got 50, and that's why it's the number one series. Wild Bill's team's four aces, Vitamin C2, and Liquid are itching to get back on the water and battle it out for the title of number one sail fishing team in the world and to put on that burgundy victory jacket. Very few things in this world are more important than winning that purple jacket to me. Family and then the purple jacket. That's it. It's not only the money, it's the recognition and creating your history, but everybody comes here because when you win here, it's a win. You're winning where all the best competition is. Last season, the Wild Bills team celebrated second, third, and fifth place finishes in the quest for the crest and took home over 600 grand in prize money. And while Team Liquid did walk away with the top earnings overall, that burgundy jacket got away. We just outfished ourselves. There was a lot of decisions made, a lot of second guessing. I need this fish. It was a comedy of errors. It ended up costing us the deal, and that just pushes us that much harder. You get that close. This is something we got to make happen. We absolutely have to find a way to win those purple jackets. And we've come very, very close. It's been there. We tasted it last season. It was a shoe in with liquid going into the last tournament. And we were jokingly saying, man, you know what? They have to not do this 
and we have to do this. And there's that possibility that we can take this. And it almost happened. It was really, really close. There was a couple cards that fell the right way. But, you know, that's just how it is. It's fishing. Five o'clock, five o'clock, five out. The first time, we didn't do what we were capable of doing. We had too many problems back then between different boats and changing from one boat to the other, not being able to prepare as properly as we could. It's a new series and a clean slate for the Wild Bills teams. To take it all will take all they have to give, and then some. Hey, ready, ready, ready. Next on Wild Bills. To be totally honest, my crew is in shambles. The teams have changed. Basically a new team. The dream team didn't work out. And now I got an A team. But their passion remains the same. You gotta love it. I mean, it's a deep passion that I can't get rid of. In this Wild Bill's quest for the Crest rematch, Teams Liquid, Vitamin C2, and Four Aces have all changed up their teams, and not necessarily by choice. The captain decided that he wanted to make a move to fish on another boat, and I was left to live with it at the last minute, which is pretty tough because it's only four weeks before season, five weeks before this tournament. Former Four Aces captain John Dudas left the team and owner Peter Adrian for the competition taking three highly skilled anglers along for the ride. I've fished with that team for four years. I think almost five. There it is, I see it. I see it, I see it. Get him in the water, Christian. There's another one coming, he's gonna eat that side. So we were pretty synchronized. We were pretty uh, adapted to fishing together. Good fish, good fish, good fish. Oh my God. Four minutes, he's three. Day one, four aces. Off the fish, bro. Top four. Oh, we're gonna finish strong already. Right. When John bailed, the, the whole team bailed. The, the mates bailed, and like I called them my professional crew, they were all gone. So it was just me and Christian on our own. Enter the McBride Boys, a Florida fishing family with a history of winning. We have a family, a father, and two brothers. My bride boys is what I call them. Uh, Brian, Corey, and the father Gary. And they've been doing this for as long as I've been around. There he is. They're good fishermen. Been fishing together, competing on their own team in prior years. And we're happy to all be together. To bring two families together, I feel like it's going to create a bigger family. Hi. Hi. And hopefully it lasts a long time. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it, Cor. Hopefully we, we reward ourselves with the victories of all of the whole season. I was lucky enough that the team I have now was available, and I was able to put them together, and real happy with the chemistry, with what's going on and the abilities of the uh, team to perform and compete. It is what it is. When you know you can, when you dealt a bad hand, you play it. Is that you? Yeah. Damn, he's got a bow in that thing. Get ready to roll up here, Brian. You move forward with it. Getting a workout today, boy. Watch him, he's coming right past you, Mike. And you know what? You kick ass with it. Team Liquid also lost key crew, most notably Captain Art Sapp's right-hand man on deck, champion angler Skip Dana. One thing we did lose that is definitely a drawback, uh, Skip Dana, who was so fast. I mean, I mean, he's fished his whole life, so inevitably, if all I had to say is spinner and the guy had a bait in front of a fish that I'm looking at, you had to tell him where it was, and he was on it. One, two, two, purple. He was that good, so now, I think people recognized he was that good, and he's running another boat that we'll be competing against. For many, many years, I fished with him. 
just unravel it, just unravel it. I just don't want to run with it like that. I just want to get there. It was tough for me for him to leave. I think he's a bit of an ass for doing that, but he had his reasons and I respect his reasons. So, you know, I just, I wish him good luck on second place. All right, I'm good on this train now. I love the guy. I wish I still had him. I hope the best for him, but man, if he beats me, I will be irate. But we'll be able to work together too, so just he can't beat me. Can't have him. A few other new faces round out the new Team Liquid lineup. Our first season together, we had a, a fellow Vince who is really a fun guy to be around and super energetic. Come on, yeah, come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on! A hundred green. We had a spectacular season on that last one and he's kind of, well, I've done this now. He's that kind of guy. He wants, you know, what, what else can I conquer? What else can, what can I do next? So he's often conquering the world elsewhere. We needed somebody else who was as financially successful to help us finance this stuff. It's insanely expensive. So Rob Degnan rolled in with that. And the cool thing about him is he's been a very successful tournament fisherman his whole life doing his own deal, just never really in the sailfish world. And uh, spectacular angler. We don't have to teach him anything. Here you go, here you go. I got that cut. Shoot fish again for him, brother. I got the fish. There you go, there you go. Look at that pretty thing. So he's been a really, really positive ad. And he brought a couple buddies with him. I think we're good. Go real that are, again, a little younger and really high energy and, and have Matt and Mike Gullah, a pair of brothers, that have been spectacular for us so far. All right, shoot fish right there. There you go, you got him, you got him for sure. But if youth is to take the trophy this time around, it's advantage Captain Tim Maddock. I feel the jack hitting the cage. It's like, <laughs> doop, doop, doop. Team Vitamin C2 will set sail with a mostly teenage crew. This year we have a bunch of my friends and young team. Over the dredge. My son, Timmy, three brothers, Logan, Parker, and Gabe. Yeah, you're going to have to clear that left side, guys. And Ben and Kyle. I was kind of looking around for some different options, and you know, these guys wanted to get in the game and learn it a little bit and talk to their dad. We're the youngest kids, I think, doing it in a team. So it's different than being with a bunch of adults than being with the kids my age. Awesome seeing the new kids kind of get into it. They never really did it before. I started fishing tournaments with my dad when I was 15 years old, 14 years old in Pompano. You know, he passed away when I was 16. From 16 to 22, I, I fished with anybody I could, bouncing from boat to boat, just learning this and, you know, taking it all in like a sponge. And it's a passion that my dad left me. You got it or you don't. You can't be forced to do it. You can't be paid to do it. You can't, or you won't be doing it because there's no amount of money to, to make up for the time and the effort and the, the gray hairs and the anxiety and the sleepless nights and the breakdowns and the bait dying and you gotta love it. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's a, it's a deep passion that I can't get rid of. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, let me start pulling them out. Even though crew changes are not uncommon among tournament fishing teams, Team 4 Aces owner Peter Adrian can't help feeling disappointed in the loss of his former team. You know, a whole team change is not common. You know, um, some guys moving and going it is more common. Um, my situation is not common, but it is what it is, and it's going to turn out for the best. You see anything with him? I am really looking forward to this rematch with some new guys on the deck. I'm looking forward to see how it works. I already had a tournament, I'll say, a week ago with these guys, and I had a blast. But sometimes change can fuel the desire to win. I would be happy to beat him. I would be happy to beat anybody. But where the motivation comes, I leave that up to you. Coming up next on Wild Bills, a brand new boat, a bad news boat, and at last, a boat to call their own. When you're chasing the fastest fish in the ocean in a race against the clock, you need a fast boat. And in this sport, height is a valued asset for spotting sailfish. So Captain Art Sapp is pumped about Team Liquid's new custom CV. And we'll see if we can find something fun. We just took delivery on our new boat that we're fishing in this tournament a week ago. So we fished it one time prior to today motored it around a little bit, you know, trying to find any bugs and 
fortunately so far, thing is dialed in perfect right out of the factory. I've always had a little bit of height in me. No, I'm a short guy, but the uh, the towers on the boats that we compete against, most of them are much taller than, than anything I've ever had. I got a little bit better bait well systems in this one. I was a little more hands-on in the construction of this one. It's all positive so far. We, we absolutely have fallen in love with this thing. I got a 40-inch gap in my tower this time, and God, it's amazing the difference, how much better I can see now. We were sitting at 1,200 horsepower in an outboard boat, which is a ton, and now we're, we're up to 1,400, so it's faster. We definitely feel good. Got a new ride, a couple of new additions. We've, it's, it's been switched up a little bit. Good high, good energy. Good energy, good feng shui on the boat, so I think we'll do well. In past, we've done very well in this tournament. We took a second place in this tournament. Missed first place very close. That's why they call it fishing and not catching. A nimble vessel is a valued asset when you're on the tail of a racing sail. Things can get hairy when a hot fish jumps all over inshore and offshore as the team tries to get the release. As the captain is spinning on a fish, the line wraps around the boat. Once the release is achieved, the captain spins the same number of times in the opposite direction to clear the lines quickly and keep fishing. As for vitamin C2 Captain Tim Maddock, there's no love lost on his custom-made money pit. And he's hoping it won't be a repeat performance of last season's start. That's not good. Both rudders? Both motors. Both motors died. It's starting out the same way we did last year, boat problems and not so good at fishing for us. No, 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 no! Oh! And uh, we're hoping it's gonna be a little different tomorrow. And Team 4 Aces is just happy to have their custom Sea Hunter ready in time for this series. No more bouncing from vessel to vessel. This year, it's a different story. We're prepared in advance, and even though it's, it's a different team, we're ready. Well, the boat is awesome. Can't say enough about that. And uh, the team, it seems like everyone's gelling well together. So I feel comfortable with our team, and um, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Tight, tight, there he is. Coming up, getting a workout today, boy. Up next, the Wild Bills teams are dialed in and ready for Operation Sailfish. Tournament time for Operation Sailfish is 7.26. The first leg in the four tournament quest for the crest. Over 50 teams, an important cause, with over 700 grand on the line. Operation Sailfish kicks off the Quest for the Crest Sailfish series, and the Wild Bills teams can't wait to get this rematch started. Operation Sailfish is the first tournament, and this year has been a knockout of the park home run. He's got 50 plus boats. All the big and top dogs are here and the more boats, the more money. Operation Sailfish has been a great tournament for us because our team kind of came together two weeks prior to this tournament, now four years ago, I guess it was, and ended up in second place and missed a few fish that would have easily, I mean, we lost by one fish, and what a phenomenal start to, for a brand new team. And that's not the only reason this tournament is near and dear to Captain Art Sapp. Have you met this guy already, Art? Last night, yep. Retired Army. Drove all the way over from Tampa last night. The Operation Sailfish Tournament, aside from that, is extremely important to us. Supporting the military in a very small way. We took a few guys fishing now from the military through this deal, and it, it just, it's very special for us. Ready or not, the Operation Sailfish and the Quest for the Crest are about to begin. We've got a phenomenal captain. Wait, 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 stop. We got another nicer one with it. The new boat is great, to say the least. There's nowhere we can't go, nothing we can't do. Oh! My ultimate goal is to win, and that's why we're here. We're coming to play, and we're coming to play hard. Little guy! It's a new team, so it's different. Something new, sometimes it's got a luck thing to it. While it's a new team, there's also people that I've fished with my whole life. So I'm comfortable with the people that are on the boat. I'm comfortable with the area that we're fishing, and I just you have confidence when you fish, and I just have confidence that we'll do well. Every day of my life, ever since I've been in this sport, I've been thinking about winning. Real Real. Winning the title would just be a dream come true. That's what I'm dreaming for. And after that dream come true, hopefully this year, I can become a captain and live my life how I want it. And it's not just winning that keeps them coming back for more. Passion comes from the heart. 
every time that I get on that boat. It's a true passion that both Tim and myself, we grew up as kids. And that's something that's grown through a lot of times and experiences. And it's almost like a drug. But you know what, we're really good at what we do. And it shows. <laughs> I want to take it pretty bad. You know, everybody here does. Take it, get the camera in your hand. We're coming up on the fish. You don't go out here and go through all the hardship and turmoil and expense and craziness that it is if you don't want it really bad. So expect me to have it if, I, if, if, if anybody gives me a chance to. <laughs> so let the Wild Bill's quest for the crest rematch begin. The great thing is it's a series of tournaments. Every day is a tournament, and there's an opportunity to win every day. So there's a lot of opportunities to shine. We're going to hold right here. I am looking extremely forward to the rematch between the Wild Bill's teams, Air Four Aces and Vitamin C2. Two exceptional teams, a little bit of changes on the Four Aces team, and there's actually a rivalry between the new guys running the boat there, the Big Prods and myself. And Tim, the high energy wild man that he is, it's always fun to beat Tim, and never fun to get beat by him. But I'm super excited, and then all the rest, there's 54 teams in this tournament this time, That's and they're all very, very good. Worth about 40 grand right now. I'm going into the tournament to win, so I don't care who's second and third. I just want to be first. That's what we're here for. Next week on Wild Bills. One minute. One minute, boys. I got 7.30, guys. Let her rip. It's lines in for Operation Sailfish. Work hard, work fun, fish fast, and fish good. First leg in the Ford Tournament Quest for the Crest Sailfish Series. Real, Christian. Which team will seize the day? 